Chelsea was was quite close to success. They were finishing second, third. Uh, they were reaching Champions League um, semi-final. Um, even in the years before, a beautiful tradition of uh, winning domestic uh, uh, cups, getting to Wembley and bringing the the cup home. Um, lots of good players, and of course, a new period for the uh, for the club. You know, the owner, the CEO, the structure. So I think I come in a moment where uh, that was the job. Um, the job was was to win it. The job was to to bring Chelsea to that to that um, dimension. There are not big clubs without uh, without a trophy room. And um, Chelsea at that moment, Chelsea needs to win the needs to win the Premier League. And I think the way we we did it was um, was very strong. It was two in a row, bam bam. And then the third season, um, finish second and uh, win two cups, the two domestic uh, uh, cups, uh, also very very close to the um, to the Champions League victories. So it was a big impact, and I think um, it lasts for for years because after that Chelsea stayed at that at that level, uh, won again and kept winning cups and finally the Champions League. So I think that was the, the step, that was the job. We, we, we come for that job, obviously. Then you think, OK, I'm going to stay uh, for more years. I'm going to, to work in a different, with a different profile. But that was the job and I felt that was the job. And I felt that the job was very adapted to my to my mentality, which is go to win. I was following the the Premier League, and um, because uh, we were uh, since the quarterfinals with, of the Champions League with Chelsea in the same basket, I I was also preparing myself to play them, and we were together in the in the semi-finals and. Uh, the day after I qualify for the final, I come to Stamford Bridge for the Chelsea uh, Monaco game uh, to analyze them and probably to be my opponent. So I was really aware of the potential of uh, of the team, a team that at that time I could split in in players that I really love and I think they have the the level to to reach the next the next level with Chelsea, some of others uh, probably not so much. And then when I, I joined, uh, the, there were already decisions made, fantastic decisions. Uh, it would, would be easy for me now to say, Peter Cech come with me or Aaron Robin come with me. No, they come to Chelsea at the same time as me, but three decisions made before I arrive. We go to pre-season and in pre-season was like a confrontation between my ideas and um, and the way I analyze my my players even in in friendlies and then I thought it was was very important to play like uh, like Ricardo uh, which was was proven that uh, he was for many years really top and that uh, that structure of uh, of uh, Peter Ricardo and and Terry was like a, a steel triangle that was fundamental for that for that team. And then Didier was um, was the kind of player that I analyze a lot uh, because we play against Marseille in the in the Champions League, and I thought that profile of uh, of player is is really the profile of of the Premier League. Uh, and again, it was fantastic decisions. But in relation to, to, to that, we go back to our history as, as coaches and we always have great decisions and also not so good decisions.
was important to win against a direct rival uh, in the context of, uh, of 38 matches. You cannot lose many points, especially at home against direct rivals, if you want to win the, the title. I thought it was very important because there was not a contradiction between uh, our words to the players, our ambitions, and then the result of, of the match. If you say this season is to be champion and then the first match you lose to a 3-0 at home with a direct rival, you give one step uh, back, so it was one step uh, forward. It was um, a big relation between that match and what we tried to give to the team in pre-season, which was uh, mental strength, um, being compact, uh, tactical uh, discipline, um, and then be really ambitious on that uh, uh, approach that sometimes I call it the, the all-in approach. You have to put everything in that game, in every minute of the game, in every second of the game, is all-in, is your quality, is your power, is your physical power, is your uh, aggression, is your emotional control. You have to put everything, is all-in. And that game was was one of these matches where you could feel the all-in is one of these matches where I feel the game is 90 minutes, but could be 900 minutes, they wouldn't score. And uh, we would always win the match. Always the most important thing is, is to reach the objective, to reach the target. And the target was to win the the Premier League. So then how how you did it, is it important? Yes, it's important. We were defensively uh, phenomenal. We were almost unbeatable. And uh, not just the word unbeatable, because that can, can, can sometimes take you in a direction where uh, nobody can beat you. Uh, we beat everybody, scoring a lot of, uh, of goals, playing absolutely fantastic dominant football because we were really dominant but then when we were uh, in front we had that that ability we had that capacity to kill teams in uh, in transition in the first season i remember that uh, we were top of the league since september and um, in september uh, the media and everybody was saying ah, they will collapse before Christmas and then they will collapse after Christmas and then they will collapse in Easter and then they never collapsed. But the reality is that the team had that kind of uh, positive atmosphere. Uh, also, the players' uh, profile was, uh, was fantastic. The relation between them was really good. And I think everybody was was really committed since the the beginning, and uh, the second season was uh, even easier than than the first one because the second we were uh, even more um, even more dominant. It was so nice and easy. It was I I can not even choose a moment where I thought that's our uh, Premier League. I think I felt that since the since the beginning. We were um, we were so so strong. The team was was so so dominant. The team knows the moments of the game. The team knows when when to be more defensive. The team knows when to be uh, and to control the game by having ball possession. The team knows the crucial moments to to kill opponents in. Uh, in transition, we could keep uh, clean sheets um, so easily. When we were in front, we had immediately uh, that feeling of uh, the game is um, is in the pocket. Uh, uh, in opponents, there were also a little feeling of uh, a fear. Um, they want to defend in a low block, but they know that uh, uh, any cross uh, with people like uh, like Drogba was difficult. And then they know that when I need the second one, I have a goal scorer like Crespo uh, to come and to play together with uh, uh, with Drogba. And then they know if there is lots of, of set pieces, uh, we go there with the, 
with the Giants and uh, with Terry and everybody and we score. Uh, they know if the block is too low that Lampard gets the ball. And from 20, 30 meters, in five shots, he scores four goals. The team was, was really, really, really strong. Our record at Stamford Bridge was something uh, incredible. So I think every, f every Chelsea fan goes to Stamford Bridge and knows this match we are going to win. Uh, we had even a match against uh, Tottenham in the, uh, in the Cup uh, that we are losing at half time. And uh, we drew 3-3. And uh, then we go to, to, to White Hart Lane and we win and we qualify to the, to the final and we win that final. It was that feeling of, of is impossible. Uh, we were losing one game against Arsenal at home 1-0. And then minute 90, SGN from uh, 30 meters put the ball in, in the top corner. So the team was, was really strong. Sometimes I don't know if it is a good thing or a bad thing, but that's my way. When I go to, to a club, I, it's like a, a, a sense of duty. Uh, it looks like it's, I feel that is my duty to give the people what the people want, what the, f the people is waiting for. And the only way to do it is not just by being um, a good professional, is by being one of them. So what I did with, with Chelsea uh, was exactly what I did in Porto before. You go there and you are one of them. And, and, and I think that's exactly the word. It's like a sense of duty. You have duty to this to these people, not just to the, to the club itself or to the owner or, or to, the, to the players, to, to the people. And I, I try to give, uh, to give everything. Then when you leave, of course, it's never a, an, easy, an easy moment, but uh, you know, next day the sun will rise again, unless you are in London and you have to wait a couple of weeks.